What's up guys, welcome back to another Art Chats. Today's topic is what is the point of art? And I also thought it would be nice to go through the process of this little um, watercolor koi fish. All the products used will be down below in the description. Love to hear your thoughts on the topic or on the materials if you've tried them yourself. So what is the point of art? The world is really screwed up. Why even do art? Is it a waste of time, especially when we face so many serious problems? Art has been around nearly as long as humans have. It has helped us understand societies that are now long gone. And the world has always been a difficult place, to be honest. There have always been wars, disease, natural disasters, but humans persist, and I believe art is one of the things that helps us do that. So what is art? Something that is created with imagination and skill, that is made for either its aesthetic value or to express important ideas or feelings. It can be music, film, sculpture, painting, etc. Humans are complex creatures with ideas and feelings that can't be explored or expressed through science and math alone. The arts are a way to do that when language fails us. And that can be through consuming or creating art. If you've ever had a song that you listened to that helped you get through a rough patch, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's also a pretty prevalent myth that you need to be born with some level of talent in order to do art, especially if we hope to make it a career out of it. Art has always been a passion of mine, but I kept it as a hobby for the longest time because I didn't feel good enough. For example, towards the end of high school, I pretty much gave up on art altogether. I really just focused on um, the kind of classes that would lead me to more stable career options, whatever that is. When I went to university, I was exposed to the music and art departments and I fell in love. I realized that these were viable options and art is what I really needed to do, what I wanted to do with my life. So I changed majors and I worked to level up my art skills. But even after leaving college, I always had non-art related jobs. It was mostly out of fear and needed to pay the bills. But fortunately, I never gave art up again despite my day job. I always spent some part of my downtime creating. I think that the myth of needing to be born with talent sometimes morphs into a feeling of disconnect with art. We might feel distance from it or like we just don't understand it. Also, if we're an analytical type or we grew up in a house environment that really didn't have art or talk about art, we might have similar feelings too. These kinds of feelings contribute to some not respecting the arts or not respecting the people who dedicate any time to them. If they are a parent, they might even discourage their child from pursuing this path in favor of more practical career options. That is why we find our art programs often underfunded or cut out altogether. I think this is a big mistake because science proves that these kind of creative endeavors help students. Sure, the student might not ever do anything with it again. They might stop playing music once they hit high school, but that doesn't matter. It has helped them in some way. Have you ever encountered this? I've been pretty fortunate that I didn't really experience this at home. My mom was an artist and she was super encouraging, but I did see it outside of the house getting scolded for spending too much time drawing when you should be working on another subject, getting told that you needed to get your head out of the clouds. But I still think my biggest enemy has always been myself, and isn't that the case for most people? Because I've seen people who thought art was basically a waste of time, I let that get into my head, I questioned it. Even knowing how important art has always been to me, I somehow felt unworthy or like I couldn't make it doing the kind of art I wanted to make. So fast forward to now, the only thing that I feel has been a real waste of time is the time I spent on jobs that I absolutely hated, just to pay bills. If I had dedicated myself properly and worked to hone my skills earlier, I could have been where I am now much sooner, probably way more successful by now. At this point, I can only imagine. I still do work part time, but it's art related, so it doesn't feel like golden handcuffs anymore. I'm actually doing art full-time for the first time in my life, and it's wonderful. Sure, it can be super hard and stressful. Some months are a bit unpredictable, but it's so worth it to me. And one of the beauties of my part-time job is that I get to share and teach art to people of all different interests and from different career paths. 
They could be those analytical types who were scared to do art or don't think much of it now. They often take my class just for fun, something to do, or they got dragged along by a friend, but they leave with a newfound interest or an appreciation that they might not have had previously. They might even pick it up as a hobby, something as just a de-stress. You don't have to dedicate your entire life to art for it to benefit you. You can just enjoy the process and use it as a release. I never thought I would be teaching art. When I was in school, I had dreams of being a gallery artist. There were several teachers around who were gallery artists in their own right. One who was a kind of famous artist. But I still didn't want to go that path of gallery and teacher. It wasn't until I started doing this part-time job that I realized how much I really love sharing and teaching art. It is very fulfilling to me, which is why I'm back on YouTube. I wanted to reach more people and help spread as much art love as possible. I hope this channel is doing that. So is art worth it? Is it worth doing? For me, that is an unquestionable yes. No matter what your interests are, there's probably some art form or many that speak to you. So as far as consuming it or creating it yourself, ideally both, time spent enjoyed is never ever wasted.